Hey everyone, Captain Al here, and today I'm going to show you three Minecraft airships so you can use them in your 1.15 survival worlds. Let's get into it. So today I am joined by Soulvoid, aka Peter J. Pan, who built these airships. Tell us a little bit more about them, Peter. Well, many of them come on a different bevocations. Yeah, sure. Um, and each one is made in certain manners. So, for instance, they may be made in a slimmer fashion, and they extend further in many different ways. I mean, they do work quite well in that way, and they're less mechanical because it doesn't show any rotary stuff at the back, or it's the most simple one you can possibly use when it comes down to certain designs. A simple little furnace as an engine, a chest in the bottom in the front, and two dispensers as weaponry if you like. And yes, the dispensers do work as firing weapons for your opponents as well. This is just the small airship that you can build. There's also a furnace in the back. You've already explained that to us. Um, but yeah, this is one of the smaller airships that you can make in your 1.15 world. Okay guys, now we're gonna move on to a more medium ship with more material used and a bigger engine in the back plus more stability on either side. So tell us about this one. This one was made with the idea of making it more mechanical. For instance, if you look at the back of the um, design, it can help show that there is a rotor to show that it's possibly being propelled using that. The engine in the back doesn't have anything more to it except for a double furnace. As well as that, these wings on the side compartments are meant to help with stability of the airship and let it to look more aesthetically pleasing. And with that as well, we have the front of it, having stained glass windows with a greyish colour to represent the steampunk themed airship that has been made. How long did this take you to build? Um, well, to be honest, many of them take me about the same amount of time. However, this one in general, I believe took me half an hour to 45 minutes. However, that was creating from scratch and that wasn't copying off of an old design I made. That's great. You can also store a bunch of items in here when you're traveling along the sky. This could, these, all these airships could actually be used by the Zeppelin mod, if you have ever heard of that. The Zeppelin mod is a mod used um, by builders who want their airships or their boats to come to life. You can create immaculate ships like this and then have them float through the air or travel on the sea using a mod. Indeed, with that mod as well, due to the fact that it uses the white blocks that make the vehicle depend if it can float or not in the air, the entire vehicle is made up of entirely wool as, as a top half. So you would be able to fill it entirely up and make it feasible to actually be able to fly via that mod. The only problem with these builds is that if it catches fire, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> like you're, you're, catch you're generally screwed. Like there's no way of stopping the fire. But other than that, it's a great way to travel around. So our final build here today is the giant ship. Now this giant aircraft features a massive propeller in the back with four stability wings plus some gas or steam leaking out of, this, out of the back and some more detail. Tell us about it, Peter. The vehicle is made up of more components than the last one, making it more complex and much more different. For instance, it, you may see that it has much, it has four different areas of which it can hold the balloon down. It has, as you said before, two engines in the back to show it's got more power and speed. It also has two, two fins on both sides of it to show that it has more stability. It also has a little eye on it to make it look like a little shark. And the best feature about this one is that, yes, it does have two engine coolers at the back, a little bit in the front where you can sit and control your vehicle like there's no tomorrow, with also a secret bottom bay that you can sit and enjoy to store all your loot and treasures of anything you need. So these builds are built by Soulvoid, and if you want to see his channel, go check it out. The link is going to be down in the description below. But with all that said, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you like some of my other videos, go check them out. Go follow me on my Instagram. And yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, good on.